All right, so boom, you already know what time it is. We are back watching Dr. Insanity again when entitled women are finally told no. Gotta shut down these entitled people. Like, come on, for real, shut them down. <laughs> too easy, baby. Too easy, baby. What happens when they're finally put in their place by the cops? I don't think I've done anything to be oh. detained for. Hey, park the car! Stop! 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 Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. That was crazy. Brittany Schaller, 27 years old, and they beat the shit out of her car. Schaller, a young entitled woman who thought her own issues put her above the law, who didn't react well to cops saying no. You're insulting me. Get the f out of my fucking face, you on the evening of December 29th, 2021, homeowners in La Crosse, Wisconsin heard a loud crash just outside the home. When they went to investigate, they saw their car had been rammed into by a young woman driving a red Chevy. The roads were icy and the skies dark, but something is telling the officers that there was something else at play in this strange accident. She was drunk, for sure. Like, she was drunk. Like, come on, though. We know she was drunk. Snow smashed the car up. She has to be drunk. Because why are you outside if the roads is that slippery? For what? She was trying to give up some butt or get some butt? It's ridiculous. Dang it. That's my car. Car hit that one under that one. So who was driving a red car? I was. You were? I don't know if I thought you were here. The woman was identified as 27-year-old Brittany Scholler and was easily determined to be the driver at fault in this incident. After all, she rammed into a parked car. Sensing something is off, the cop decides to ask the Shake It Up girl a few questions. All right, so where are you coming from? Um, Frank's house. Frank's house. Right, what was you doing at the Frank's house? Hanging out. Hanging out. Yeah, have you had anything to drink tonight? I mean, this is a little blurry, but she does look intoxicated. She definitely looks like she's some type of intoxicated. <laughs> Brittany is claiming she hadn't had anything to drink, but she's not doing a great job of hiding it. The officer noted that she had glossy eyes, slurred speech, and he could smell alcohol on her. So, as you might expect, the cop asks Brittany to perform a few field sobriety tests. Alright, if they show these tests, I want to know in the comments, Kit, do you guys think you could pass a field sobriety test while you're sober? Because of the cold weather, though, he decides to bring her back to the police station and do them there. News she doesn't take well at all. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to go back to our station. I just want to get you some feels, okay? So basically what the feels is, I can kind of smell a little bit of alcohol, alcohol and time, which I'm, I'm coming from you, okay? I don't want you to do out in the cold, all right? We're going to go to my job. We got to make smarter decisions when we're driving, okay? My little brother. Died six months ago. Which is a crime. We got it. We, fortunately, we gotta go to the station, okay? We gotta watch my squad, okay? What the f did you guys do for me? Like, that does suck that she lost her little brother. No jokes here. No funny shit. That is de actually depressing. But, like, it, for that to be the first thing that comes out of her mouth in this situation, so you were drunk at a friend's house because you're sad about your brother understandable why don't you stay at your friend's house please do not be drinking and driving out here please do not be doing that <laughs> Brittany is quickly becoming hysterical and making the sobriety tests essentially pointless what's interesting is this story about her little brother and especially how she's trying to use it as an excuse to be let go since this awful is bro on her mind it seems as though this is genuinely something bothering her my brother he died. Okay, so look at this accident and tell me if it would have caused some injury to somebody else. You're right, you're right, you're right. But we're going right. to walk through this first squad. You're right, you're right, you're right. My brother died in a car accident. And I miss him so much. Oh, he's already been in jail, dude. Come on. My brother fucking died. It seems as though Brittany is too drunk to realize that her actions tonight could have been the reason that someone else lost her little brother. What's even sadder? Yeah, like, her brother yeah, like, which is crazy. She was talking about her brother, but she could have definitely damaged or hurt somebody in the process. But that's that delusional pro mind state right there. Died by driving drunk himself and crashing with three passengers on board, one of whom being Brittany herself. She saw firsthand how dangerous and
So her brother died. Oh my god, that's even worse. Her brother died drunk driving with all of them in the car, including her, and then she does it herself. That's crazy insane. Crazy insane. Like what? And frankly stupid this crime is, he had decided to do it just six months later. Once back at the station, they began the sobriety tests. These take a while, but you really only need to see this part to know how well it went. What I want you to do is I just want you to follow this finger with your eyes and your eyes only. You do not move your head, do you understand? Okay. Any questions? No. Just with your eyes. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Bro, she super failed that. She super failed that. Like she's done. Like there's no coming back from that one. She says she's a like... yeah. She's chop. Oh, you already think I'm a piece of thing? I didn't say that, Brittany. No, I know that you do. You guys already think I'm a fucking loser. No. Brittany, I just want right now. I just want to make sure you're safe to drive and not putting anybody else in danger. Yeah, I was in ballet and tap dance, little bitches. She's lit. She's off it, for sure. Because look at the behavior. Look at the face she's making. She off of the saucy. Like, she is gone, bro. She is gone. She belongs to the streets. next few minutes are more of the same before the cops rightly decide that Brittany is too drunk to have been driving. But this is just the start of the case. As now she's officially been arrested, she decides to start piling on the charges, making everything worse and being downright strange. I'm gonna fuck, fuck, let everybody know you guys fuck, fuck, me over, you fucking pieces of shit. No, you fucking losers. Everything she just said was insane. Like, she's pretty much bringing up crazy things towards them that could potentially get them in trouble if it wasn't all, if this wasn't all recorded. What do you want on my pocket? What the f is on my pocket? It's everywhere. It's semen. That's not what we gonna do. You're not gonna be kicking, okay? No. Do you understand me? Oh, fuck you. Brittany, we understand you're going through a lot. We're going oh, through I, you understand I'm going through a lot. Okay. A police officer <laughs> assaulting me. Brittany, stop. You're assaulting me. Brittany. You're assaulting me. Are you serious? What the fuck? What the fuck? Get your foot in the car. You're assaulting me. Brittany, get your foot in the You're car. assaulting. She's now accusing the cops of assault. Like, come on now. She probably was really lit. She did smash up a couple vehicles. Now she out here talking out the side of her whatever. And then she's just that shit is what? of numerous kinds as well as kicking the cops and resisting arrest she is becoming hysterical and nothing she's doing is helping her case take a look at how she acts when she's reminded again that she's under arrest the faster we get this process done the faster we can call your mom for a while what have i done wrong you're under arrest for whatever you like for a while you're operating while under the influence okay the faster we get this process done the call my mom we will call your mom Brittany, okay you're is this crazy look at this you try to me what and they're just being so patient let this have been a whole nother situation gunshot guns would have been blown bang bang motherfuckers would have been out of there like it's crazy to me are you serious that get the out of my face you piece of get the out of my 
face! You! Get the f out of my fucking face! Get the f out of my fucking face, you loser! Imagine being a fucking piece of shit! Get the f Imagine being a fucking piece of shit. She remained uncooperative while getting her blood drawn at the hospital, tried to kick officers and resist back at the station, and the cops even had to remove the chairs from the interview room because she was kicking them around so much. At one point, she even tried escaping the interview room while she was handcuffed. No, 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 this is not, no, this is not acceptable. Dude, get your hands off of me. You can't even walk around. Please stop. Get your hands off of yeah, me. This is not acceptable. Get your f***ing hands off of me. Bro, she looked drunk as hell, Yankee Lang. Like, whatever she was drinking, put her on a new level. Brittany was eventually she boxing with the cops. Charged with felony battery to an officer, disorderly conduct, operating a vehicle while under the influence, and failure to keep the vehicle under control. Her exact sentence is unknown, but somehow, even with all of this strange behavior, she still didn't manage to get the officers as worked up as this entitled woman did. Stop! 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 Bro, okay, yeah, yeah, this right here, bro. This right here. They were smashing her car. So hopefully whatever she did matches this behavior because the cops in the last thing, they kept it calm and she was tweaked out. So I'm trying to see what is about on this one. In June of 2020, BLM protests were at an all time high and the police felt the need to monitor them and ensure no laws were being broken. During one of these protests in Orlando, an officer noticed a vehicle blocking a lane of traffic. Why I got it. This of course is one's in Orlando. Of course, this one's in Florida. That makes sense. This is in Florida. This is going to be an insane story. We already know that. With its hazard lights on, I decided to pull them over for a chat. This is the strange interaction that followed. Get out of the car. Do you want to go to jail? Seriously? Either get out of the car or you're going to jail. Why am I getting out of the car? Why am I getting out of the car? I got it. You're stopped in the middle of the roadway. You're, you're violating a traffic violation so at this point you are being detained do you understand um i wasn't doing anything besides i'm not gonna driving. sit here and argue with you i'm gonna okay. ask you to step out of the car the okay so i'm not a specialist on the law but if she was driving she pulled up there they saw her sitting there what traffic violation did she exactly break in this moment like before it gets out of hand if y'all know let me know in the comments for real because like this is not my specialty, so. Or we're gonna re remove you out of the car. Your choice. I'm trying to be nice. I have not been disrespectful, have I? No, but I don't think I've done anything to be detained okay. for. Do not reach into my car. Do not reach into my car. Stop, stop. Hey, park the car. Stop, stop, stop. Get out of the car. Oh my God. Get out of the car. Put your hands behind Get your back. Get out of the car. Okay, okay. Put your hands behind your back. Get out. Behind your back. Get out. Put your hands behind Get your back. There's an awful lot of debate around. I'm very confused by that. Like, what the fuck? They wanted her to move. They could have just told her to move. But they never really made it clear exactly what the travel vi the traffic violation was. They got to beating her windows in instantaneously do cops not realize that people would be nervous when seven cops pull up on them this shit too like what was what does she actually do like it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me on these protests and interactions that we won't be going into but with the phone recording and the immediate refusal of police orders it's obvious this girl was acting extremely entitled the cops recognized this immediately and knew that this conversation never goes anywhere so decided to quickly put an end to it the issue uh, breaking is her car breaking a window did look incredibly violent and obviously got all the other protesters pretty riled up can you put that car in park put the car in park i didn't do anything get up in the car Tag 22, we got one detained. If we can get a couple more units for crowd control. Oh, County Tag 22, can you start up, please? I am bleeding. I need an ambulance. 
I am bleeding. I need an ambulance. Anybody for the tank right there? She's got Snyder cuts from glass. Bro, she's bleeding from her fucking mouth. Look at the blood on the windshield, bro. I hope she sued the fuck out of them. I hope that she sued the fuck out of them because this makes no like shit like this makes no sense. Like the other shit chick, she literally crashed a fucking car into multiple cars, was kicking the police officers, and they didn't escalate it. But of course in Florida they gotta bash the shorty window in. Mouth bleeding and shit. Like and if y'all wanted her out of the road, tell her to move her stupid ass out the road. Like, hey, move your car. You're blocking. We need this to be clear. What they gonna say? Which no. Just move the car. She wasn't even parked in a parking spot. She could just move this shit. But like for it's this to be the end outcome? No. What the stay in the car. I need to spit. Okay. I have blood in my mouth. Get away from me, okay? Just step away so I can spit. Justin! Alright, if you're gonna scream and stuff, you will be put in the car. Stop screaming. Can you just tell my friend to take yes, my car, please? I will. You had to break my window, really? You rolled my arm up in your window. Because I felt unsafe. Well, you I'm guys sorry. are killing people I'm like me. I'm asking you to are step you out. Serious? I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to throw you back in the car. Your choice. <laughs> you did not get I out of the car. So they said it was a traffic violation, but they detained her because she didn't get out of the car. And, like, I feel like the escalation training should just be a thing. Like, everywhere. Everyone needs it. Even if you're the citizen, I feel like them motherfuckers need de-escalation training. Because not every interaction with police needs to end in somebody bleeding or hurt or property being damaged. It doesn't always have to end like that. But clearly, who am I? You stopped in the middle of the roadway. We asked you to get out of the car. What the is wrong with you could have taken my eye out. Or you could have got out of the window, out of the car, none of this would have happened. Bro, what? The rest of the stop goes pretty much the same way. But there is a hilarious moment later down the line where the cop explains the difference between being detained and being arrested, which stops her in her tracks immediately. At most, you would have got a verbal warning and you would have been free to drive off. All you had to do was step out of the car. If I step out of the car, nothing was going to happen. You did not tell me that. You said I am being detained. Step out of the car. Yeah. Why am I being detained? Why are being, you reaching into my you know, car? I'm fearing stop, for my life. A traffic stop means you're being detained. A basic traffic stop. You're not. I did not know that. You said I am being detained, which is being I'm being arrested. No. Where being am detained I going? I am and being arrested are two different things. For someone that acts like they know so much, simple stuff. Being detained. When the lights and sirens come on, that means you're physically being detained. You're not free to leave. That does not mean you're under arrest. I would ask for your driver's license, your registration, your proof of insurance. Once everything checked out, you'd have been free to drive off. She obviously wasn't too happy about that one. Eventually, a medic arrived to check her out and observed that she had a few minor cuts across her face and she was taken to a hospital for treatment. Nothing is known about where the case went from here, but it's presumed that any charges against the woman were dropped and she was let go with a warning as mentioned by the cop. After they busted her window down. And the thing is, I'm going to be fair. If you are a police officer, people don't know the difference between arrested and detained. It sounds like the same thing to someone who's never been in, in that realm. So why wouldn't you make that something that you explain? You're not under arrest. You're being detained. We just need your license and registration. That seems like it would save... I mean, not everyone, but it seems like that could save people some time and effort and drama and trauma. Like, you feel me? Like, that could make a big difference. Uh, at the end of the day, this girl didn't really commit any crimes. She was just behaving badly and not complying with the police. But what happens if you mix that with one of the most despicable crimes you can commit? Are you seeing the tears in the car left? On the 21st of August, 2021, police were called to a blood bank on a sickening call. A passerby had reported two children stuck in the car at the height of the Ohio summer. Pull out on 13 the radio. What's the temperature? Yeah, you know, I'm pointing out to you now. You've seen the kids in the car left. I talked to the little girl. She said she don't know how long she's been in here. Okay. One is like an infant, probably like four or five. And I think the other one was like three, three or four. 
three year old here was hanging out the car screaming. And then I saw the security guard and I asked him to come outside because this, this is a serious matter. Huh? And, I, and I was like, you gotta call the police, this is not, this isn't okay. The cops do what they can to air out the car and keep the kids safe while they wait for their mother to turn up. But while they wait, they get some concerning news from the nurse. What's your mom's name? What is it? Tamisha. 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 Yep. She was a new donor too. She's been in here for at least two hours. I know. She's been here for a long period of time. Yep. A long time. Uh, at least two. I can find out the start time if that's something you need. It turns out she'd been in the building for even longer than two hours. It's still left them in the extreme heat in a car for four hours. A tot, like a toddler and a, 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 a little newborn type. Bro, Eleven what the ten foot? now, but she'd been inside since seven thirty that morning, leaving the kids to fend for themselves in the extreme heat of the car for almost four hours. When she finally showed up, though, she of course had a very different story to tell. This is actually so depressing. If you didn't have anyone to watch your kids while you came and did this, you should have at least brought them inside. Yeah, it would have inconvenienced the people in there, but it would be better than leaving your kids in a hot ass car for four hours, right? Like. The nurse put into words what everyone was thinking. This is a nightmare scenario and a horrifying example of parental negligence, and things just keep getting worse. What happened to her arm? Why is her arm in a bandage? She burned her arm. Okay. A uh, couple, like last week. How? She got to the arm while I was, I was running. Yeah. And I had to wait for like a hot second and she hadn't got to the arm. Okay, did she go to the hospital for that? Um, no, it just, I, um, it, it was just that bad. Yeah. I had, you know, okay. when I had yeah, a scene, so right. I put ointment on it, like uh, under the counter ointment. Okay. And then, um, she kind of wrapped it up. So I'm like, yeah, on the side. I'm just gonna check it, okay? I just wanna make sure it's not affected. So at least, however, we're gonna receive a, a, a 911 call saying that the vehicle is turned off with the windows up and the kids. Hey, can you come here? Yeah, Give me a favor. Start reaching the vehicle. I'm trying to charge this so I can pull up. Okay. Um, the windows is rolled up. Okay. Yeah, the windows are rolled up. Okay. Yeah, the windows are rolled up. Okay. Yeah, the windows are rolled up. Yes, ma'am. And the kids are here now. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yes, ma'am. They come here. However, they were unable. They were people here bystanders. We're able to, you know, open their door, give the kids some water, okay? Yes, ma'am. However, this is serious. This is this is severity crime, okay? You can't just leave the kids in the car unattended. All right, the car was not on. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't leave it on. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's hot outside, you know what I mean? Oh, so you mean to, okay. Even if it was on, people can take your children, yeah, they can yeah. take your car, yeah. and it's like near 85 degrees outside. Bro, she don't give a fuck about them kids, bro. Look how she's acting about this situation. Clearly, she doesn't care. Like, at all. Dummy. Like, what the fuck, bro? Inside that car heats up very fast. And children at a young age are very... They're easily raised their temperature level up. Alright, so, I'm gonna go talk to my sister here. We don't want to see. We're gonna go to the hospital. Kids checked out. I'm gonna notify Child Family Services. Alright? And we'll go from there, okay? Okay. It's crazy that the cops should even have to explain this to the mother of not just one, but two kids. And even worse, she's crying as though she didn't expect this to happen. And it seems she especially wasn't expecting this. Are you pregnant or postpartum? No. Right. Go put your hands together. We're just detaining you right now, all right? I'm, put your hands I'm being together. detained? Yes. Put your hands together like you're praying. Like you're praying. There you go. Don't see my baby. Yes, stand by. And you're getting arrested. Like, holy shit. 
she is placed in the back of a patrol car while they wait on the medics to make sure the kids are all right. For the record, the windows on the patrol car were rolled down. The woman was hit with a charge of endangering children, but little else is known about what happened to her or her kids. If you enjoy true crime videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to see more. Dr. Insanity. Fletch up. But you guys already know if there's anything you want to see me react to, join the Discord. Drop it in the TikToks slash reaction section. We also have a story time section. If there's any stories you guys want to share, am I the asshole? Like anything that you want to share from your personal life that you want us or anyone in the community to comment on or give advice on, it's in there, story time section. And make sure y'all hit this, the follow button on my Twitch, link in description, Shabby TTV and S-H-A-B-K-N-Y, you already know. We stream reactions and gaming and IRL streams and everything there. All right, so you already know what time it is. We are out.